This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Creating a backup for your database is an essential task. You just always want to be sure that you have a backup, especially once you've finished designing the database. And luckily, in Access 2013, it's really easy to back up your database. Let's go take a look. So first of all, I need to open an Access database. Go ahead and open this one. And the first trick is make sure that nothing is open. So if you have any tables, forms, report, anything open, make sure that you close everything. And I personally like my screen to look like this with the navigation pane collapse, and I can tell clearly that nothing is open. And then it's just to save as. So you simply do file, save as, and when you get into the save as area, save the database as, and then scroll. My resolution is large, so I have to scroll. You may not have to scroll. But two from the bottom you have right here, backup database. Back up the database, and then I have to scroll down here so I can get to the save as, and when I click save as, First of all, you're going to place it in the proper location. And just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there on the desktop. So I'll save it on the desktop, but you certainly want to save it in your work world wherever, whether it's to the uh, network drive, the sky drive, the wherever. Make sure it's the proper location. And then it automatically picks up the exact same name of the file. So mine was called Applying Database Tools. And then, uh, sorry, mine was called Applying Database Tools Module. And then it adds to that the current date. And that's automatically there for you. Now, you may want to completely change this. And you may want to say, I don't want the date on there. And you might want to give it a totally different name. Backup after design of. Right, so maybe you've just finished designing the database. And now you want to save a copy of the database design. Again, the naming convention is whatever makes sense to you. So attach whatever name you would like. And certainly leave the date on there also, if that's comfortable and convenient for you. And then I'll go ahead and say Save. Now, it has not changed anything about the database that I'm currently in. But let me just resize here. It does have out here on the desktop the new file. This is the new file that I just created. But it is a totally separate file. I should say database. It's a totally separate database than the database that I currently have open on my screen. So there's no link and there's no connection. So let me maximize here. All I did was double click the title bar to maximize. So now as soon as I do something, anything, no matter what I do in here, if I add a new record, if I add a new table, those two databases no longer identically match. So anytime you need to back up your database, make sure everything is closed, file, save as, Find the feature here for backup database, apply the proper name for it, and put it in the proper location. And you see it's that easy to back up your access databases. So do it often. And that way you'll never be caught with a database that's corrupted or some dramatic problem and you don't have any backup. Because now you can back up as often as you'd like because it's very simple. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.